Hello guys, I'm Hiroki from Japan. This is a channel that provides information for LGBTQ plus people from overseas about safe and comfortable accommodations in Japan, places that are not listed in guidebooks, and delicious Japanese food. Okay, this time I'm gonna introduce a hotel where LGBTQ plus people can stay comfortable and relaxed. The hotel is Tokyo Stay Shinjuku East Side. This hotel is one of the few hotels in Tokyo that is a member of IGLTA. It is also an LGBTQ plus friendly hotel that offers LGBTQ plus training to its employees. And this is a brand new hotel, just opened in August 2021. The location is good within walking distance to Shinokubo,、uh, famous for its Korean food, and Kabukicho, a famous tourist spot, as well as Shinjuku Nichome. There are many convenience stores, fast food restaurants, and other eateries around the hotel. It's very convenient. Another reason for recommending this hotel is that it is the most cost effective in terms of room size,、uh, facilities, and price. Okay, let me show you the wonderful hotel. Let's go! First, go to the exit A1 of Higashi Shinjuku Station on the Tokyo Metro Fukutoshin Line. When reaching the exit, turn right and walk straight. Then turn right again. Then just walk straight ahead and you will reach the hotel. It is very close to the station within 3 minutes walking distance from here. The front desk is on the second floor by taking elevator. The entrance to the hotel greets you in a very stylish space. First, hand sanitizer. Now on the front floor. By the way, this floor provides a comfortable space where you can charge your electric device and work. There is plenty of seating, so it can be used for work as well as meetings. Free coffee is also available, which will help you get your work done. The seating lightning is also gentle and warm, allowing you to stay calm and relaxed. Now let's take a walk around. There is a variety of other spaces where you can feel at ease and relax. Here is the tourist information, guidebooks, maps, and other information necessary for sightseeing. This is a shop, snacks are also sold. Let's go to the guest room then. Arrived on the guest room floor, stylishly illuminated with light. The decorations are lovely. The corridor on the guest room floor is very pretty and mature looking. Arrived at the room, let's go inside. There is a washing machine with dryer right inside the room. Above the washing machine is a simple and stylishly designed water heater and microwave. This was the first time for me to stay in a room with a washer, dryer, and a room, so I was surprised at this. It's great to be able to do laundry and the comfort of your own room without having to go all the way to the laundromat. All the interior furnishings in the rooms are cute and stylish. The room is quite spacious than I expected. The most attractive feature of the rooms here is the desk. It's long and narrow horizontally, easy to work in, and the chairs were easy to sit in. I worked at this desk too. There are tableware and other items. There's also a safe, USB ports, and charger plugs are provided next to the bed. It also has a stand light. 
The light next to the bed is lovely. Next bathroom. The bathroom is quite spacious and very clean. The white color scheme gives it a clean look. The shower water pressure is just right and easy to use. Japanese people are picky about the water pressure and the shower, so I'm very grateful that the water pressure is neither too weak nor too strong. I'm a little tired and would like to take a rest in bed. I've introduced several LGBTQ plus friendly hotels on this channel, and this hotel is by far my number one recommendation. All of the hotels were comfortable and easy to stay in, but this one was outstanding in every way from the excellent facilities and service to the location and price. When you come to Japan, please stay at Tokyo Stay Shinjuku East Side. You will surely have a wonderful time. Okay, so how was this video?、Uh, I will continue to provide useful information for LGBTQ plus people, so please subscribe to my channel if you like it. Also, I'd appreciate it if you could give me a like. Okay, see you in the next time. Bye!